Hey guys, hello from Hollywood Studios. So I just got over here to studios and I am very excited for today. I have some very, very fun plans. I am actually meeting up with some friends over here at Hollywood Studios tonight. So I decided to come park my car here this afternoon and I'm actually gonna head off and take the Skyliner because I wanna go over to the Epcot Resort area, yacht club, beach club, boardwalk, and check out their holiday decorations. And then my friends are gonna come over here sometime in the afternoon here to Hollywood Studios, so then I'm gonna plan to come back over here, meet up with them, and then we're gonna spend the whole night in studios. I know we're gonna catch Fantasmic. I can't wait to see that again. And yeah, it's just gonna be an all around really good day, hang out with some good friends, and get to see some holiday decorations. So I'm looking forward to it. Fun. It's been a minute since I've actually taken the Disney Skyliner as a form of transportation. I also feel like it's been a while since I've been over to the Epcot Resorts, like Yacht Club, Beach Club, Boardwalk, possibly where I'm heading today. I'm definitely due for it. And Christmas time, my favorite time to go around and do resort hopping and get to take in all the decorations and everything that they have. So yeah, now I'm at the hub station for the Skyliner here at Caribbean Beach. I'm gonna go jump in line for the Epcot line. International Gateway entrance aka the Epcot Skyliner stop and it's really cool last time that I was here was like it was like 5 a.m. and I was actually running so for my run Disney 5k we came out around the Skyliner station and we went down this pathway and that was the area where we entered backstage which was like the coolest thing I'm still geeking out about it that alone, like the backstage aspect of a run Disney has me wanting to do more run Disneys and really just all of it. Like I knew I was gonna probably enjoy run Disney, but I didn't expect to love it as much as I ended up loving it. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And the next ones that are coming up, I know there's like the princess, which is in February, marathon weekends actually before that, that's in January, but all of those are sold out, unfortunately. But the next time that there's a sign up for one, I am hands down doing it. Like, I can't wait. That's what all my friends told me. They're like, you're gonna get the bug. Once you do your first run Disney, it becomes addictive. So right up this pathway here, if you didn't know, this is the way to the Epcot Resorts, as they are referred to. This is the Yacht Club, Beach Club, Boardwalk. You can go all the way down to Swan and Dolphin. These resorts are so amazing. I always like to point this out because yeah, if you're spending the day in Epcot and wanna do something different, you literally come right out of the back entrance of Epcot, the International Gateway there, and then you have all these resorts that are just footsteps away that you can come explore. So I'm gonna head inside of the beach club first, and this was the one, so last year when my family was here on a vacation, we had come over here. They always do this gorgeous gingerbread carousel every year, and last year was the best year ever in my opinion because it was Little Mermaid themed. If you don't know, Little Mermaid is my favorite princess. I love Ariel. It was absolutely my favorite year ever. And I know they typically change it up every year, so I doubt that it's gonna be the same thing again, but I would not complain if it was because I would love to see that again. As always, if you would like to plan your holiday visit here to Walt Disney World, please contact my friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They can help you with all the accommodations, all the planning. It's the best gift to put under the tree this year. Giving your family the gift of a Walt Disney World vacation is one that they will never forget. You can get a free no obligation quote anytime at 407vacations.com. The agents over there are excellent and they will be very, very happy to help you. So I've actually, fun fact, never stayed at the Beach Club, Yacht Club, any of the resorts over here other than, that's not true, I've stayed at the Swan and Dolphin, but that's like a third party resort, so it, eh, you know, it's technically, I consider it an Epcot resort. It's a Disney Good Neighbor affiliate, but I've never stayed at the Beach Club, Yacht Club, or Boardwalk. And that is something that one day I would absolutely love to stay over here. I have so many staycation ideas, like living here as a local. I cannot wait to start doing them. Oh, there's a squirrel. Hello. I'm heading in 
outside the lobby right now. I cannot wait to see this. I actually have not looked at any spoilers online. I know that this is up in here because my mom watches all the Disney news and she saw that it was up in here, but I myself have not yet looked at anything online to know what the theme is this year. I know the door's opening right now. Let's go see. Oh my goodness. So I said I would have liked it to still been Little Mermaid, but I love what they did because it's all the princesses. They have Jasmine right here. There's Tiana. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. Then we have Elsa. The next one is Snow White. And just look at the attention to detail and like how they have references of like they have the apple and the mirror on hers. And then Belle's coming around the corner and I can see they have books for her because she likes to read and the Enchanted Rose. This is so cool. I've spotted a couple golden hidden Mickeys on here as well. Does anybody remember years ago on the Travel Channel, there was like an old Samantha Brown special that they came to Disney during the holidays. And I can remember we had that on like VHS tape, like recorded. And me and my parents would watch that all the time. We'd watch it year round, even not even at Christmas time. That was the days before vlogs was a thing, really. So we needed to get our Disney fix that way. But I can remember during that special, they were interviewing the chef and they were talking about the fact that they put these like hidden Mickeys. And like I just said in the previous clip, I did spot a hidden Mickey. Let me see if I can point it out to you. Oh, well on Belle, the books there have hidden Mickeys. Also the hoof on the back of the horse of Belle's horse has a Mickey. There's one on Elsa's horse as well. This is fascinating. I'm just standing here staring at this and looking for all the hidden Mickeys. Also, I love that Tiana's horse has beignets with like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Also right in front here, they have the ingredients. Oh, and this is their 22nd year. They've been doing this tradition of the gingerbread carousel for 22 years. It smells like gingerbread and also similar to how at the Grand Floridian with their gingerbread house, they then sell, actually for theirs, like inside of the gingerbread house, they have a shop that you can buy gingerbread treats. So similar to that here set up in the lobby, like right across from the gingerbread carousel, they do have a little place where you can come buy some gingerbread treats and it looks like an ornament. I've literally just been standing here mesmerized and I came around this way and look at the detail on oh, the Jasmine horse, her face. Look at this. Also, I just read on the sign here, it said that there are 22 hidden Mickeys in honor of the 22nd year of them doing this. So I need to try to start counting. <laughs> well, that was so cool. Definitely so well worth it to stop over here. I can't wait until, so my parents are actually coming into town this, this coming week actually, this week. Wow, time moves very, very fast. But they're coming into town and I definitely want to bring them over here to see this because it's incredible. Also, I mentioned how last year I love the Little Mermaid theme carousel that they did. And so I'll go ahead and link the vlog that I have from last year when me and my parents were here on vacation. That was like right before I moved down to Disney actually. I'll link that video if you want to check that out and see what last year's looked like. But this was so cool with the princesses. I love that. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk next door to the Yacht Club. They don't do, like in, a couple years ago, they used to do like a village setup. I'm trying to remember if they did that last year. We're gonna see what they have. Let's go check it out. I can't wait, the day that I stay here, I cannot wait to finally experience this pool that they have that's shared between the Beach Club and the Yacht Club. This has been voted like the best pool on all of Disney property and for very obvious reasons. It's like has a sand bottom to it. So it's actually a sand bottom pool. It has like a lazy river that goes through part of the pool. It is so cool. And they're very strict about getting in here. Like you have to have like a wristband and like tap in and prove that you are staying here. You are a guest. So one day I will be a guest and I will stay here. And we'll do a whole vlog of experiencing this pool for the first time. Oh, hello. Look at you. <laughs> this is the entrance here to the Yacht Club. So Beach Club is the blue building and then Yacht Club is this more gray 
building. It's a little bit more like you will come inside. It's more the wood accents and a bit more of that upscale. Both of them are upscale. They're both deluxe resorts, but it's just two different vibes. This one is definitely the yachtsman, kind of a bit more sophisticated. And then I feel like the beach club has more like that, just, you know, classy beach house feel to it. A bit more whimsical maybe over there. Okay, we're on the hunt for Christmas. Let's see what's inside here. Um, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> they used to a couple years ago. I can't remember that on that Samantha Brown special. They used to do stuff here, but I don't think they've done anything this year. But you see what I mean? It's a bit more sophisticated over on this side. Oh my gosh, and let me tell you, a really, really good spot to come eat right here. Ale and Compass. This place is incredible. I've been here a couple times before. It is amazing. And they do have a lounge. There's a lounge that's right around this side here. Which I don't know if the lounge is open at the moment. But you can come in here, grab a drink. You can also get food off the menu from the main restaurant. Before I continue on with my resort hopping, I wanted to come over here to the market because this is a really cool Disney gift shop. And I feel like they've definitely renovated this since the last time I was in here. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't remember any of this. They now have like, oh my gosh, it's like a proper quick service here. Are you kidding me? I need to come check this out. This is, oh yeah, this is all like brand new. They even have a seating area. This is called the market at Ailing Compass. How did I not know that this was a thing? They got your grab and go right here. You have your Coke freestyle machines. This is really nice. Cause yeah, a couple years ago, they did not have this here. They have where you can get your wines. You can get beverages chilled here in the refrigerators. This is so cool. They have a full menu of food offerings. And then they also have a Joffrey's coffee menu also. Do love my Joffrey's coffee. Here's a little pan of the gift shop side. Just like this resort, you have the fun Disney touches, then you also have like the classy different clothing and everything, higher end brands in here. I definitely want to try out that quick service sometime. Like I did not realize that they made that like all that it was. Maybe they had like some very basic grab and go things in there before, but not to that level. So that's very cool. Another reason to come stay at this resort <laughs> at some point in the near future, hopefully. Right now, I am just exploring because I realized I was already down that far like to where that quick service was, the quick service and the gift shop. And I realized I've never like walked out this end of the resort and I don't know where I am. So I just came out those doors and look at this. How nice and quiet is this over here? They have tennis courts back here and then they have a quiet pool like tucked all the way back here. I don't even think there's a single soul back here right now. I believe if my senses serve me correctly, I think that this right here is going to pop out like right by the swan and dolphin, like connecting back onto that pathway, which is where I wanted to go anyway. So I feel like I'm taking a little shortcut right now. Yeah, look at this. There's like this little path that connects you back down. I've like never been back here before. This is really cool. This is going to pop out right like you're heading over to the Swan and Dolphin. This is so cool. Like I never, so many times I've walked this pathway and I never like thought to myself, oh, I should go down here. Where does that lead to? Like I kind of thought this was actually backstage, but no, it, you can go down there. Yeah, look, it just popped me out. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm fascinated by this new path that I discovered. There's the typical way that I come up and then come around to Swan and Dolphin. And I'm going to walk now to the Boardwalk Resort to see if they're doing anything. Usually they do some type of holiday special gingerbread display or something, I think. It hasn't been as much in recent years, but I'll reference back to the golden days of Disney and that Samantha Brown Disney special. They used to do like an entire village scape that had like a boardwalk scene and like a roller coaster and it was so cool. I feel like if you need a zen moment in Walt Disney World, just come to the boardwalk. Any of these resorts around here, it is so relaxing. This is like the perfect date night spot to like come walk around, grab dinner somewhere at the boardwalk, walk around. 
You have the dance hall down here, which I've actually never been there. I want to go there. Okay, let's go check out Boardwalk and see if they're doing anything for Christmas. I'm sure they at least have some type of garland or something up, you know. I really didn't, that was the other thing with Yacht Club. I didn't notice if there was at least any garland or anything. Okay, here we go. Yeah. They don't have anything. There's nothing. Oh my gosh, there's, they didn't do anything. There's not even garland. What? <laughs> Today's November 14th, I should note that. So maybe like they're gonna get around to it. We'll have to keep coming back and checking this out. But right now there's nothing. So as I've talked about, Disney does start the holidays early, early. You saw my vlog from November 1st. They had decorations up at Magic Kingdom, but there is still like that bit of a transitional time because for example, Epcot doesn't start until, I'll flash it up on the screen here, when they begin the festival of the holidays. That's like the changeover for that park because right now they're still doing food and wine festival. So like it does kind of have a gradual rollout in some ways. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, maybe Yacht Club and Boardwalk here are still gonna surprise us with some decorations this year. I feel like that's the case because I would be so shocked that they would just do nothing. Right now I'm looking if there's any like hidden shortcut to <laughs> get back outside here inside of the Boardwalk. There may not be. I might just have to go back to the main, main lobby. I came back to some elevators. I'm gonna go down and explore. I think I know a way to like get out to the pool from here. Oh my goodness, that was loud. Oh yeah, there's the pool right there. Their pool here is fun. It's all like circus themed. A couple years ago, it actually had a really terrifying clown face. It was like on the water slide here and it was really creepy and it kind of declassed the place a bit. I get that what they were going for though. It was like whimsical and whatever. The whole thing is whimsical, but I, I like how they've done it over now. It's just still that whimsical carnival theme, but it's not the freaky clown. And at this pool, the bar is a carousel. How cute is that? And then from here at Boardwalk, there is actually a walking path that you can walk to Hollywood Studios. And my friends that I'm meeting up with tonight, they did just text me that they are now at Hollywood Studios. So I'm gonna go start making my way over to see them. I was contemplating walking all the way back and taking the Skyliner, but I'm right here. So I might as well walk it. It's good run Disney training, right? <laughs> I'll just start sprinting down there. No. <laughs> but this is very relaxing. This pathway is so nice. Right now you can hear the cars above me. This is actually um, Buena Vista Drive? Yeah, this is Buena Vista Drive right now, that I believe, that's going above me. And then here we go over to Hollywood Studios. This path doesn't take very long to walk. I'd say the pace I walk, maybe eight minutes, like less than 10 minutes for sure. And it's very relaxing over here. You can also take boats as well that run along this waterway here. There's one loading up right now at studios. But yeah, the boats service um, Swan and Dolphin, Yacht Club, Beach Club, and Boardwalk. I said this in my Fantasmic vlog when I came over for opening night of Fantasmic, but Hollywood Studios, this is one that does not disappoint for the holidays. I love it. It's tinsel, because it's tinsel town. And all the decorations go with like that 1940s old Hollywood vibe. I love it. Oh, I wonder if they put up my rocket kick line little Christmas baubles in the one window. I talked about that too in that vlog and I said they didn't do it yet. Hopefully they put it up. So maybe it's here now. Let's see. They're still not here. This is the window where they're usually always at. I hope they put them up. I love those. Oh my goodness. I actually have on my Disney Christmas tree, I have an ornament that's a replica of one of those rocket Christmas baubles from that display, from that window display, they made this ornament. And I'm excited. Actually, this week when my parents come down, they're driving and they're bringing my Christmas tree and my ornaments. So the apartment is gonna be all decorated for my first Christmas in Florida.
What is everyone's like favorite thing that they've done today in Hollywood Studios? Quick rapid fire. Slinky dog. Slinky dog? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. That's the first time I went on it. So. Really? Yeah, I've not been on it before. So, slinky dog. That was the highlight. Exploding out as well. What else have we done? Frozen. Oh yeah, Frozen sing along. Frozen earlier. So good. <laughs> That's awesome. So now we're at ABC Commissary. I'm excited. I just got the alcoholic beverage here. It is the frozen hot chocolate. Even though it's called hot, it's not hot. It's a frozen beverage. But you could get it with or without bourbon. Um, with bourbon, it's like a cherry bourbon. It is thirteen fifty. Yeah. And they've been teaching me though the British way. How do you say bourbon? Bourbon. 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 <laughs> It's like uh, Chipolata. Chipolata, yes! <laughs> so I didn't film it, but when we all went to Epcot the other day together, they were, I was becoming an adopted part of your family. Yeah. And I had to practice my British accent, and we found I'm best if I say the word Chipolata. Yeah. <laughs> and believe. Believe, yes, if I say believe. <laughs> I feel like my accent's getting worse instead of better. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna enjoy this, and then Ella, you got the... The moose dessert. The yeah. reindeer, reindeer moose. moose. Also known as moose moose. It looks really good and it has like an orange cherry filling, it said. Yeah. And a biscuit, a gold biscuit. That looks really good. on the frozen hot chocolate thing. It was incredible. So you can get it that it's just the plain, it's a salted caramel frozen hot chocolate. So it's basically blended chocolate. Like it's a blended chocolate drink, like a blended slushy type consistency. That's the best way to describe this thing. It was incredible. And so I had it with the cherry bourbon or bourbon, bourbon, as my friends would say. <laughs> Still gotta work on my British accent. It is lacking right now. But I couldn't even taste like the alcohol in it, which is dangerous, but it was very good. I would get it again. I would recommend it. I feel like it's a good value as far as like alcoholic drinks go, $13.50. It's good. I would get the non-alcoholic one again too. Like I really enjoyed it. So anyway, we did that. Earlier today, I think I inserted a little clip footage and we did um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and then we did Star Tours. Always a good time. We had dinner, I had my drink. Now, I'm sitting here, my friends are actually riding Rock and Roller Coaster. I don't usually do this one. So they're doing that and I've been tasked with holding everybody's stuff. I've posed Olaf with, he's got a Yankees hat on. <laughs> also watching the ice cream. Well, you don't do roller coasters, you become that person that holds the bench down and watches everyone's stuff. But yeah, we are having such a fun night. Always a good time hanging out with amazing friends, amazing people. We're actually making some plans where we're gonna get together again tomorrow. We're going to Epcot, so we're making plans for tomorrow. But it's just such a nice, relaxed night. I had said in my last Hollywood Studios vlog how I need to get over here to studios more often. I feel like this is the park I come to the least. So I need to make that change. And after this, I know we're gonna do Tower Terror. That one I will do. We're gonna do Tower Terror. But we're also gonna see Fantasmic. And I haven't seen it since opening night. And I'm excited to go watch it again. It was really good. I'm so happy it's back. So that's gonna be a very good time. I feel like I should also po like pose Olaf with Violet's purse too. How's that? He's gonna be just chilling with me. Oh, he should be having the ice cream. Wait, he's gonna also be having the ice cream. Can I make his little, like, hand be holding it? There you go. This, as you may recognize, is a maiden service elevator waiting for you. Because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. All right, we ready? Tower terror time. <laughs> there we go. It's a different perspective. This is cool. I don't know how I feel like. I, I know, it's weird not having anything else in front of us. This is a little freaky. <laughs> oh my gosh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> you are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension. <laughs> it's very bumpy. As we call her. <laughs> are you ready? We're ready, we got this. Oh! <laughs>
Night too, like you see the out. Oh, yeah. It's like still dark. Oh, and there's like loads of lights outside. Yeah, like you feel like you can see more. Oh 